Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here and today we are in East Herringthorpe Cemetery. <laughs> Make sure I get that correct. Um, not too far from Sheffield, so up in that neck of the woods today. And we're here to see the grave of George Frederick Spate. But you guys will probably know him as Paul Shane. Of course, from Heidi High fame and many other credits to his name. And um, I'll tell you a little bit more about him real soon. Now, this is a beautiful little place. It's a, a sort of crematorium with a cemetery on it as well. So it's nice, nice chill place, nice and relaxing. Anyway, um, don't forget if you like the video today, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell so you can be informed of when new videos are coming all the time. And most importantly, please leave me your comments down below. Let me know your memories of Paul Shane. Were you a massive Heidi High fan? Um, or do you remember him from other things as well? Uh, let's get into it a little bit, shall we? Paul Shane, born George Frederick Spate, 19th of June, 1940, to the 16th of May, 2013. Shane was born near Rotherham in the West Riding of Yorkshire. After leaving school in 1955, he was a minor until he suffered a double herniated discs after slipping on soap in the pit head baths in 1967. Being pensioned from the coal mines as a result, Two years later, he became a professional entertainer. He already had 10 years experience as a part-time entertainer in pubs and clubs in South Yorkshire. His first appearance as a singer was at the Grafton Club, now demolished in St Anne's Road, Rotherham. That was where he had his first club booking for 30 shillings. Well, here we am in a public house. There used to be another public house on this side, a very old one that was knocked down a few years ago, called the Grafton Arms, where in 1957, I started singing and I used to get uh, two pints and 20 pint drives a night. And I did that for two years. They built a new pub and called it The Comedian in honour of one of Rotherham's most famous sons. He's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you give a, a round of applause to Mr Sandy Powell. Mr Sandy Powell. His transformation from singer to comedian was gradual, starting with his version of Green Green Grass of Home, which was straight at first, but ultimately became a send-up of the version by Tom Jones. Shane played small parts and made guest appearances in television series throughout the 1970s. In May 1979, the comedy writer Jimmy Perry spotted Shane playing Frank Roper in an episode of Coronation Street and offered him the part of Ted Bovis in his new holiday camp sitcom Heidi High. The series ran from 1980 until 1988, when Perry and his co-writer David Croft wrote the pilot of You Rang My Lord and invited Shane to play Alf Stokes. That show ran until 1993. In 1991, Shay was given his own show, Very Big, Very Soon, which ran for one series. Shane's performance of You've Lost That Loving Feeling on Pebble Mill at One in 1996 was voted the 72nd funniest moment on British television in an opinion poll on Channel 4 in 2004. Between 1995 and 1997, Shane played Jack Skinner in two series of Oh Doctor Beeching. Subsequently, he appeared most frequently in theatre, though he also had guest spots in Holby City and Emmerdale. Shane also appeared in variety theatre in towns including Blackpool in 2006 and in pantomime in Jack and the Beanstalk in 2008. In 2008 he was in an episode of the ITV drama series A Touch of Frost playing boatsman Diesel Bob. He was the subject of This Is Your Life in 1981 when he was surprised by Eamon Andrews in London's Covent Garden. Shane was married to Dorothy Short until her death on the 2nd of October 2001. They had three daughters. On the 1st of April 1984, he was inducted into the Grand Order of Water Rats. In May 2009, Shane was admitted to the Northern General Hospital in Sheffield for heart surgery and made a full recovery. Following another short period of ill health, he died on the 16th of May 2013 at a hospice in Rotherham, aged 72. His three daughters and six grandchildren all survive him. His funeral was at Rotherham Minster. The mourners included former colleagues from Heidi High. So that's all the information there on Paul Shane, of course. Real name, George Frederick Spate. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? I think I found it. Treasured Memories of Ivy Short, 
29th of the 5th, 1915, to the 20th of the 2nd, 2001. Also, Dorothy Ann Spate, Dorothy Shane, 28th of February, 1943, to the 4th of April, 2001. And George Fed Frederick Spate, Paul Shane, 19th of June, 1940, to the 16th of the 5th, 2013. Loving parents and grandparents. As long as we have memories, as long as we have tears, you will never be forgotten, not in a million years. And that's the final resting place of George Frederick Spate, also known as Paul Shane, of course. Much loved comedic actor, very, very funny man, and uh, sorely missed, you know, and he's one of those names that um, is, you know, when you see his face and he lit up the screen, you it just put a smile on your face, whatever you were watching him in. So um, on that note, you know, I think he definitely deserves for us all to say massive thank you, George, or Paul. We should call him Paul, shouldn't we? That was his stage name, that's what he's known as. Thank you for the laughs. Um, made many of us laugh over the years. And yeah, what, what a guy, what a great guy, what a funny man. Um, so there we have it, another one for another day. If you liked it, all the rest, I ain't gonna tell you. I'm not going to bore you of all that stuff. You know what to do. And uh, I will see you all. Oh, leave me your comments. You know I like to read the comments. I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy.